Hello everybody! Kumusta na mga kaibigan? Today, I'm going to show you how to make this little baseball cap for a stuffed doll or if you have a doll and you wonder how to make a uh, small cap, baseball cap. Uh, so this is the video where I'm going to show you how to do it. So um, I made this um, stuffed doll from scratch. This is actually, I'm making this for a, a company. I'm making this cap for this little guy here. Okay, so uh, this video is going to show you how to make this little cap. Okay, so the materials, you're going to have a stiffener. You're going to get it from, get it from uh, Joanne's Fabric. We have a fabric. Um, I'm using uh, olive green fabric. Of course, you have the threads and scissors. Okay, so um, what I did was, because I already made this uh, sample cap, I made a, a, an outline for it. Is this a little outline? Um, this is, uh, you have to make like six, six different sections. See right, right here, I'm gonna show you. There are six different sections. So you make this kind, um, and two out of the six panels, you're going to put the stiffener in the back. That way, the front will, will stand up. It won't collapse. So um, you're going to make six of these and two of them with a stiffener in the back. Okay, so let's get started. And you also wanted to put a um, one-fourth, well, I should say, uh, uh, one half allowance on each side because you're gonna sew this one I didn't sew but um, we're going to sew it just like the real cap okay so okay so um, I just checked my my sample cap and this this template that I made already includes one fourth allowance so um, as I had mentioned so because it already has one-fourth allowance, I'm only going to add um, one-fourth allowance on all around, not one-half. So, see? Right here, I just put a one-fourth allowance on the template. So what I'm going to do is use this to cut more panels, okay? So I've, I finished cutting the panels. So I have six of them, see right here. And I also um, cut the stiffener. There's two of them for the front and I also made a, a template for for uh, the rim, the brim. So and then I so I, I cut the stiffeners as well and the fabric. See both sides. So now the next step would be to attach all the panels together. So you're gonna sew all the all of them together, okay? Including the one with with uh, the stiffener. You attach them together and you sew together, okay? Okay, so now I have attached all six panels. See, two of them has the, the stiffener and the other four don't. But originally I wanted a, um, a one, one half allowance because I was originally going to sew this one here. I was originally gonna sew it this way, but I decided I was not gonna uh, make a big fuss about it. So um, it should be only one fourth. So I'm gonna cut uh, the allowance because I'm not gonna worry about it because um, it's just gonna sit on top of, of the stuffed animal. It's not gonna be played with. And it's not going to be, I'm going to attach it to the head of the stuffed animal. So 
um, it's not gonna come off. If this was to be played with, the stuffed animal, then I have to make sure that it won't fray and I'm gonna sew on these edges here. But because it's going to attach, to be attached, and uh, it's just for um, display, I'm just gonna not worry about it and just cut this side here. But I would run a zigzag after the stitch here. I'd run a, a zigzag, zigzag uh, stitch, zigzag stitch right here, and uh, and then uh, cut cut one fourth of it, uh, just so it won't fray. So I did a zigzag stitch. So I did a zigzag stitch here um, after I did a, a running stitch and um, I'm going to cut it. Um, see, I'm going to cut the excess. See right there? And I'll do the same thing on the rest of the panels. The next thing you want to do um, is going to make the brim of the hat, of the cap. So um, here's the stiffener. The, the, the trick is, the tip is, you, um, you put both fabric together and then put the stiffener on top so that when you flip it over, it would be, um, uh, the stiffener would be in between the fabric. So now I sew the, the brim, and so then we flip it over. So you would want to iron this one too. Um, it's the best way to be is to iron. Okay, so now I, I've, I already ironed the brim. So the next thing is you want to sew close to the edge over here okay just do a running stitch close to the edge of the brim so now i'm done with the brim so i'm going to attach it to the hat the top part of the hat the, the uh, cap so right here so i put a logo on there this is the logo of the company so what you want to do is you're going to sew sew this over here that way so that when it's when it's done it's going to go this way okay so after you attach the brim let's see it's almost done next thing you want to do get a strip of fabric like this and you want to sew the edge so it won't unravel and then you want to attach it to the raw edges of the hat over here okay so what I did was I sew the edge of the strip and then now I'm going to say I sew the edge of the strip and then I'm going to sew this strip over here um, on the cap okay so that it would, it would go when it's done it's going to cover this raw edge okay so I'm going to sew it here So I sew this one here and then when I flip it over, I'm going to sew this one here, this edge, okay? So there you have it, see? Cute little hat, cute little cap for this cute little, for this cute little stuffed doll. There you go. Thank you so much for watching my video. 
if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you have any question please leave a comment below and please subscribe to my channel thank you and a salamat